Hey guys, so let me start out by saying that uh, I didn't didn't plan on uh, talking during this video. <laughs> so I'm kind of coming into it a little bit late with this. And I will apologize for the way my voice sounds. I've been under the weather. Um, so I went ahead and I printed out the blower from off of uh, Thingiverse. Uh, this is going to be for the TiVo Tarantula. And as you can see, there were some issues when it come to printing because of the cooling on this, which is the whole reason why I'm doing this uh, blower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to mount this onto the extruder on this TiVo Tarantula, and let's see if it helps at any. I'm going to try to get everything connected up so I can print out into one of these brackets and hopefully get it to print out correctly uh, with the cooling fan on. That way I can definitely see how it's working. As you can see right now the fans are not turning. So let me go ahead and turn on the fan in the, in the software portion of it here. That's going to be right here. I'm just going to go down to control. Let's go temperature, fan speed. And I'm just going to go ahead and ramp them on up, which I believe ramps up to 200 and something. Two fifty-five. That feels pretty good. And the fans are definitely blowing. There's a lot of air coming out too. So now it's a matter of trying to get these mounted in a way where I can go ahead and print with them and try to get everything to go the correct way. Um, there's definitely a ridge in here that's keeping it from fitting down in. So I may try printing the wider version too to see if that works. But that's definitely going to add some air <laughs> to that hot end. <laughs> so let me figure out how to get these on the mount. And I'll be right back with you. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this with tape. This is going to be the jinkiest setup I have ever done in my life. But let's just see if I can at least get these brackets printed. And I'll go from there to see how I want to do the mounting solution. There's definitely a lot of air there. <laughs> That'll get me by for now. Okay, now uh, let me go ahead and re-slice the model and uh, add in the second one So and just go ahead and print everything at once. Okay guys, so it's been a couple days. Um, I don't know how I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to try my best to edit, edit with some of uh, the audio from before, but my voice was so gone the other night I finally just had to go ahead and give up. So anyway, I'm back at it again. Go go ahead and see if I can finish this video out. So uh, what had happened is I went ahead and I printed out the first duct and it had holes in it because I didn't have any cooling. So I went ahead and I jerry-rigged this uh, set up here with the two blowers the way that I'm kind of wanting to run them 
uh, just mainly as a test. And I print out two more of the the blowers. Once again, I'll put these model. I'll put the model of these in the video description. So if you have a TiVo tarantula and you're interested in this model, you can definitely find it there. What I did is I printed out two of these, and the reason for it is one said it was wider than the other, and I believe when it said wider, it was talking about the tips here. I personally like the original one that I went ahead and, and printed on this because it is closer. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with that one. As you can see, this one printed without any holes in it. So the cooling definitely did help when it comes to this. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and start taking things back apart. I need to change the heat block around a little bit. And uh, probably re-solder the wires for the fan or the blowers and get things set up. So let me go ahead and get into that. And I'll see you here in a moment. Okay, so I'm getting ready to loosen up the take the, the nozzle loose a little bit so I can go ahead and readjust this heat block. Uh, one thing I do want to do is go ahead and unload the filament. It is up to temperature. So I'm going to extrude some and then I'm going to pull it out quickly. There we go. Whenever I extrude a little bit and then pull it out quickly, it uh, usually gives me a really clean setup like that so that it removes all, any gunk that's in the nozzle to begin with. Main thing to remember is the nozzle is very hot. And one thing I just learned is if I pull the smaller section of my screwdriver out of the this multi-use one, it actually fits that nozzle fairly decent. So I'm going to see if I can go ahead and remove it without having to go and find another wrench. So I'm just going to use a, uh, some pliers here on the heat block. And let's see if that removes. There we go. Just want to be very careful not to uh, disturb things too awful bad. Now that I've got that moved, I want to see if I can just go ahead and rotate it. I'm just going to rotate it to the front. I think that'll work quite nicely right there. And then what we need to do is grab hold of the heat block once more. And then tighten everything up. Not to over tighten. Okay, I think that will work. So I'll have to do some uh, rearranging on the wiring a little bit, and then I should be set where I can go ahead and put the blower back on it. Okay, so right now I just want to take and see if I can mount these fans. I'm going to go ahead and try using a little bit of super glue for now. Uh, ultimately what I will do is uh, end up using some, uh, I believe I'll go with, uh, silicone to uh, to actually do it but let's just go ahead and add some of this just to see if it will work out oh, there it started to grab okay so I'll let that one set up for a little bit uh, it doesn't look like the part down underneath is any good so let's just go ahead and just add it onto the mouth of it here and like I said, I'll find a different glue to add onto this later on. There we go. This is kind of a temporary thing for now. There she grabbed. Good. I'm ashamed of these wires, so I'm, I'm going to shorten those wires up. Uh, I'll be right back with you here in just a mo moment. This right here is a permanent match that I've got. It uses uh, lighter fluid like you use on a cigarette lighter. Let's add a little bit of heat. Good enough.
good enough. Yeah, probably wrap some tape or something around it just to dress it up. But that I think is going to work very nice. I'm going to just bring it over here to see if I get on camera. There we go. So I'm going to go to Control. Go down to, well, let's go to Temperature and then Fan Speed. Let's crank it all the way up. I think it tops out 255. Two fifty-five. Blowers turned on and have really good air circulation right there. That's cool. Cool. That will do it. So that's gonna conclude this video and Next thing I'm going to do is come up with a bracket or see if I can find one I can download to uh, mount this on the top of the unit. And then once that's done, I can finish up with my wiring over here and get everything all set up and it'll be done. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too, that way you'll be notified when a video comes out. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page over here. You can support the channel from there. If you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to love them. Oh yeah, you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.